assalamu alaikum this video is based on the prime factorization we already have a video on prime factorization but now we are going to recall the concept and have one question from practice now 3 practiced here on the board now if you just recall prime factorization it is basically use of prime numbers to factorize any number that is the simple uh, definition for prime factorization you can use list of prime number the prime number start from the basic even number that is 2 and then rest of the prime numbers are odd numbers or if you go with the fundamental theory of arithmetic it says any whole number which is greater than 1 mean any whole number which is greater than 1 can be a prime mean having two factors or a composite number having more than two factors now you have both the concept the simple way to describe prime factorization or the standard concept of fundamental theory of arithmetic now both are given now we are going to start with page number 9 and practice now 3 that is given in the book nsm 1 the question 2 is basically for prime factorization it says express 539 as a product product mean multiplication form of its prime factors prime factor mean all the prime number which are being utilized to factorize the number 539 the method which we are going to use that is repeated division method that is how we are going to start 539 and you are going to start due to an odd number we are going to start with a odd number let's see the first odd number that is 3 for 3 the divisibility rule says add all the last three number if they are equal to or their sum is equal to a number which is divisible by 3 you can divide the number on three table now if you add these three number 9 plus 3 12 12 plus 5 17 now 17 is not divisible by 3 either 17 is not divisible by 5 because 5 must have zero or 5 here in the units column this is the unit column so we think about 7 and if you think about 7 7 Sevens are forty-nine. Now this fifty-three will be uh, subtracted with forty-nine, and you are left with a number four. Now this four and nine will become again forty-nine. That is seven. Sevens are forty-nine. Now you just just go with table of seven again. Seven ones are seven, or seven ones are seven. Mean seven elevens are seventy-seven, and then you go with table of eleven. and you can see we are reached up to root of the division mean or division is stopped here now we are going to pick these number 7 7 and 11 and write them in the product form now that is 7 multiplied to 7 multiplied to 11 and that will make 539 now this is the product form of writing these prime factor and this is how you are going to present your answer if it is asked to write in the product form this is we 7 times 7 times 11 mean you have written multiplication in place of its product and that's it thank you